Welcome back, friends. This is Excel Video 95. I have uh, one more clever chart I want to show you today, and it's kind of a two-part thing. First, I'll show you how I set up the controls, and then I'll show you what's going on behind the scenes to do this. What I have here is four physicians, and I'm looking at E&M coding levels uh, for established patients, 992112234 and 5 in the office setting. And so I know what Dr. A's um, pattern is. I'm looking at his, about half of his codes are 99213. And what I've got set up here in this blue area is a place where I can check the box and say, now I want Dr. C with Dr. C and compare it to Dr. A. And there's Dr. A and Dr. C, and I want to compare them to specialty average. And then here, my legend over here says that there's my specialty. So I know that the light blue is Dr. A, this green color is Dr. C, and I've got a specialty average. So I can just take Drs. A and C off and put Dr. B on. And Dr. B is almost right on the specialty average. It's amazing what random numbers will do. But Dr. D, on the other hand, it will take Dr. B off, is way up. I mean, it's almost 70% of his E&M codes, at least for established patients, are 99214 where his specialty is back somewhere over here. So he seems to be coding a far sight higher over here. And again, is that a problem? It, it depends on what the documentation looks like and what and what the kind of patients he's seeing and all. But here's a clever way to just add and subtract and take the specialty average off. And I can compare A versus C. Now there's A versus D. And the charts obviously update automatically. There are two pieces to this puzzle. I want to show you the first one that's this box up here and how I made that work. If you go to the developer tab, there's some more things up here we could play with. This is a group box. And so what I'm going to do, let's see if we can kind of replicate something like what I have there. So there's a group box and I can take this and name it include list like that. And it looks a lot like this. And from this there are some formatting things where I can worry about the size and uh, protection properties and things like that. But there isn't a whole lot going on there. What you can do, if you want, is put um, a rectangle behind this and put some shading and things like that. But I, once I've got this list, then I can group controls inside this box. And uh, let me show you how, you how to do one. Here's a checkbox control, so I'm going to check that, and then we're going to put the checkbox control something like that, and then we can give it a better name than checkbox 13. We could call it Dr. A. That looks an awful lot like that, and then once I've got that, I'm going to right-click to select it and format the control. I can um, change the colors and the lines and the fill behind each one of these. I just put one big fill in the background for all of them, but you could do a different color in the back of each of the options if you wanted to make Dr. A's color the same as his chart so that it was an easy way to see those lines. You could easily make A blue and B red just by doing that. Um, the size, and we could lock the aspect ratio or, or make sure that the, the proportions are the way it was to start with protection and properties I'm, and web I'm not too worried about but the control says do we want it to be checked or unchecked and then back to what you're used to seeing the cell link my cell link I'll show you how this one's set up if we come over and click on um, I'm gonna ungroup this so we can get to the pieces you'll see there's a lot of them in there but let's do Dr. A format control and it's right now it's checked and it's linked to B2 so I've got Dr. A over here linked to, here's my, here's my data for my chart. B2 right now is showing true, and watch what happens when I uncheck it. Fault, true, false, true, false. So all my controls doing that's set up here is turning this true and false. Dr. C is currently false right there. Now it's true, Dr. D is true, specialty average is false. Now it's true. So all my controls doing is changing the value of these cells from true to false. How do I make the graph or this, this chart update every time that I change one of these? Stay tuned next time and I'll show you how we use this true and false thing to drive the whole rest of the story. Thanks for watching.